Now let's say that you have an app where you are charging users to be in the app. Let's say that you have an app where you have business listings and people can make those business listings, they can create them in the app, but they will not show up until they have paid. Now remember that right now, September 2020, uh, Clyde doesn't allow for subscriptions yet. So that payment, that subscription is happening somewhere else in your website, in your landing page, uh, with your PayPal. I mean, there are a lot of options, right? Now, users are creating their, in this case, their business listing, but we want to hide those business listings for everybody. You as an admin would be able to see that business listing and approve that business listing so it will show up for every other user. Now, how will we do that? We will have, or we will play around with two terms. One is filters and one is visibility condition for tabs, right? So let's use this same template. Right now I am on the list view. So if I go to my data, you can see here that I have a column named approved and it's a checkbox, it's a Boolean column, right? So what I want to do is me as an admin, as owner of the app, approve these businesses. And when they are checked, they will show up in the main list, right? So let's pre-approve everybody except Anchor Electronics. Now, if I go over here, right now I'm seeing everybody, right? So I'll go to features and I will add a filter. So I want to limit the items displayed based on a specific property. That property is if that checkbox is marked, if that checkbox is true. So I have the approved column here. So the filter, I will show every item where approved is true. true. Okay. Now we see every single item except the last one that I haven't checked as true. Now, if we click any of these items, we see their information, then obviously we don't want users seeing that checkbox. That checkbox should only be for the admin. Now let's make a tab, which will be exactly the same as this checklist. So this checklist we have this tab, we have a checklist style where the check value is approved. Now, if I click here, if I go back to my list, then Anchor Electronics will show up. Now, we don't want any user being able to click these checkboxes. Only the admin should be able to do that, right? So there are two ways of doing that. For that, we have to set up user roles. So the first thing that we have to do is go to our profiles tab, and then we would probably add a column named admin. And I will make this a Boolean column. There are a lot of ways to do that, but let's do it this way. This way. So it'll be a Boolean column. So that way I can make anybody else an admin in a very easy way, right? So I want to make myself an admin, okay? Now let's add a new tab. And this will be a tab named admin and it will point to my locations okay now on features this will be admin so let's choose a different icon this one so the most important thing about this whole tab is that we will set up a visibility condition and we want only admins seeing this tab so I go to conditions and then all the way down to admin when admin is true. OK, 
Okay. So now you can see here on my far bottom right that the admin tab shows up. Now, if I preview as somebody else, then that doesn't come up because that's this other user that I'm previewing as is not an admin. If I go back to my personal email, then I can see the admin tab. Now, the easiest way to do this is set up a checkbox style layout. So checklist, and then the check value is approved. So that way, me as an admin will be able to log into the app and say, okay, has Anchor Electronics paid in my landing page, in my PayPal, in my website, whatever. Yes, okay, then I click the checkbox and then on the list tab, they will show up because we are filtering when approved is true. So now every single business has paid or is approved. Now somebody stops paying, you go back to your admin tab, uncheck those businesses, and then the rest of the users will only see the paid or the approved, uh, the approved uh, business listings. So that's how you set up a app that has a paying component.